Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Steven and Jacqueline. Today we're going to cook a simple grilled chicken tandoori style. So let's sit back and enjoy the ride. Hey folks, let's go prep our chicken tandoori style and here's our ingredients. You will need one chicken, four to five pounds, one pack of shan tandoori masala mix, yogurt, lemon juice, red food coloring, oil or melted butter, garlic, ginger, black pepper, salt, cumin, cayenne pepper and mati. Well folks, let's start by making our simple tandoori marinade. First into the pool, we are going to go in with 1 to 1 and a half teaspoons of minced ginger. Second to jump in the pool will be 2 teaspoons of freshly minced garlic. The next ingredient comes out from India and it is called methi. We are going in with half to 1 teaspoon of this. Here I got some lemon juice, about 5 to 6 tablespoons. This will help to brighten up the flavors of the ingredients and also with the tenderizing of the chicken. Next, you want to go with one teaspoon of cumin, but here in Trinidad we have something called roasted cumin, which is much stronger in taste, so I'm going in with a little less than half a teaspoon of this. Next in the pool, I'm going with one teaspoon of black pepper. Remember, it's all about those layers of flavor. <laughs> and if you have been watching me for a while, you know I've got to bring that heat, so I'm going in with one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This is optional, of course. For the next ingredient, you can use one of two, vegetable oil or unsalted butter. I'm going in with 4 to 6 tablespoons of vegetable oil. And for our main ingredient, we are going in with one pack of tandoori masala mix. This is what is going to bring our tandoori masala flavor. What you want to do right about now is take your whisk and give this a swirl to make sure that all those flavors come together nicely. Now that everything has come together, it's time to add a bit of color. I'm going to be going in with a quarter to a half teaspoon of red food coloring. This is optional of course, but it will look good for presentation purposes. And of course, you want to go to swirl once again and there you see we have gotten that lovely reddish color. Now it's time to set our bowl aside and let's start to prep our chicken. So here I have some chicken quarters which I have removed the skin. I'm now going to cut some deep slits into them so that the marinade will be able to penetrate nicely. You want to make sure and cut slits on both sides of the chicken and in case if you were sleeping I'm going to do one more piece again. You just want to make sure you cut some deep slits into your chicken about three or four. After you have done that you want to get yourself some paper towel and pat them to remove some of that excess moisture. After you have patted them dry, you want to get yourself some gloves and this will help to prevent your fingernails from getting red in that marinade. Well now it's time just to place your chicken into that marinade and make sure that they'll get properly well coated and taking all those lovely flavors. And the only way to do this is to use the best tool that God gave you and that's your hands. You want to get that marinade all in between the slits that you have made in that chicken. Now that we have gotten the chicken all coated with that lovely marinade, we are going to set this in the fridge for 30 minutes before we move on to the next step. And in the miracle of time, here is our marinated chicken after 30 minutes. Now we are going to add 1 cup of plain yogurt. I am using Greek yogurt. This is going to add another layer of flavor and it is also going to help tenderize that chicken. Now all you want to do is just take your hands and incorporate that yogurt into that marinated chicken. So guys, I will have the full recipe written down in the description box below as always. After doing this, you want to place it back in your refrigerator to let this soak in the marinade for another 3 hours. <laughs> and in the miracle of Fleming, 3 hours has gone by so it's now time to remove or chicken from that marinade. When you have removed the chicken from the marinade, you want to make sure and discard the remaining marinade. After removing the chicken from the marinade, you want to set up your grill for indirect cooking which I have already done. All indirect cooking means is that you have your hot coals banked to one side of the grill and you will place whatever you are cooking on the opposite side. Well here I'm using half an onion to clean down the grill and this is just giving off that lovely aroma. I'm also going to throw the half an onion in the hot coals and this is going to add some flavor to our chicken. 
Now I'm going to put the cover on and let the cheba come up to temp. Now that the cheba has come to temp, it's time to get our chicken and put it on the grill and we're going to be placing it opposite the hot coals for some indirect cooking. I did not add any wood chunks to the coals because we have enough flavor going on there. All we want is just that charcoal flavor. So we're going to put the cover on and we're going to let the cheba do its thing. This is about 20 minutes into the cook, so now what you want to do is take that chicken and flip them over on the other side to get some even cooking going on. This cook was inspired by my chinny sister Sandy from my Aji's kitchen. Go and give her a check guys, I will have a link to her channel in the description box and also in the iCards above. This is about 45 minutes into the cook and we're going to check our internal temp of our chicken. We are looking for 150 degrees internal. After doing this, you want to start placing your chicken directly over the hot coals and start flipping them frequently because you are looking for that lovely char. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the post notifications for more. Remember guys, you want to continue flipping that chicken because you're looking for that char. And this is what I'm talking about. That's a lot of flavor right there. As you can see, we are coming along nicely. We're getting that lovely char. So just continue flipping and moving around that chicken. We want to do this until we reach an internal temp of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So folks, now that we have gotten to that internal temp of 165, it's time to pull that chicken off the grill. And here you can see that we have gotten that lovely char. So now that we have gotten our chicken off the grill, we're going to get it plated up nicely on our cutting board for our drive. But after doing this, we're going to cut into it and see what we have. So sit back, fasten your seatbelts, and let's go! So boys and girls, here's our delightful tandoori style grilled chicken and it was so tasty. Well folks, let's cut into this leg quarter and see what we have. And there you can see we have a perfectly cooked chicken. Let's cut into our chicken breast and see what we have as well. And there you have it folks, a perfectly well cooked chicken breast. I do hope you give this recipe a try. I will have the full recipe written down in the description box below. you all enjoyed the video like comment and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notifications for more videos see you all on our next cooking journey and we're out until next time